so there is one game that has continued to be my favorite throughout the years my all-time favorite everybody has their all-time favorite for me I've cycled through many games that were my favorite over the years Minecraft uh, went from Minecraft to at one point Skyrim for a little bit because Skyrim's very open world lots of fun to be had then from Skyrim at one point it was a Crash Bandicoot series back in the day that, that was my favorite for a while I loved the Crash Bandicoot series went to don't judge me but Fortnite for a little while that that was a game changer for me for a little while I tried real hard for uh, Fortnite um, went back from Fortnite to Minecraft yet again then Breath of the Wild then uh, Super Smash Bros Brawl um, uh, lots of different games have taken the title of favorite game over the years but all-time favorite has always stuck with one game Zelda the Wind Waker but I hear you asking but the title is you've never beaten it that's true I've never beaten this game it's been my favorite game for 14 plus years and I've never beaten it because I had a corrupted copy that would not let me finish the final boss fight. I could get all the way up to it, start fighting Ganon, but I could not defeat him because the game would freeze. So here we are, 14, no, 10 years since the last time I played this game on a console. And we're gonna work towards beating it. But before we do that, we're going to get as much gameplay as we can out of it. Because, like I said, my favorite game of all time. I'm not gonna just simply let it go. I'm gonna milk this. So, without any further ado. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forests, tall mountains, and peace. But one day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then, when all hope had died, and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy, clothed in green, appeared as if from nowhere. Wielding the blade of evil's bane, he sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. This boy, who traveled through time to save the land, was known as the Hero of Time. Ganon is a meanie. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero. Once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume its The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. But the hero did not appear.
Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. In their last hour, as doom drew nigh, they left their future in the hands of fate. What became of that kingdom? None remain who know. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legend survived on the wind's breath. On a certain island, it became customary to garb boys in green when they came of age. I'm guessing of age of 13. Clothed in the green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. Zelda the Wind Waker HD, Big Brother. The, the, those seagulls are definitely not inside of her. Wow, this is running surprisingly well. Yeah, it's a, an amazing game. Like, oh, uh, my favorite game of all time for very obvious reasons. It was also the uh, very first time that Toon Link was a thing. It's running at a startling 30 FPS. But hey, what is going on everybody? Thank you for showing up to the stream. Uh, this is my favorite game. Uh, in case you uh, showed up just for specifically for the clickbait. Who the fuck sleeps on solid fucking wood? Uh, a kid the day before his birthday he, uh, f staying up late to try and stay up for your birthday for your 13th birthday and oh shit it's you fucking fall asleep it's a good thing I came to find you you should probably go home and see what grandma wants don't you think grandma we're waiting for you Atlas Atlas try Please. these on Buster, you suck. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. Alright, alright, should I hit enter? Uh, I don't know. You got the hero's clothes. They look like they might be a little warm for this weather. Is Casey there? Uh, yeah. Don't hey, look hey, so Casey. disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is the day that you become the same age as the young hero spoken of in all the legends. You only just, have just... to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. D do I hit enter? Fuck it, why not? In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. Yeah, so kidding. <laughs> they were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. <laughs> Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything She's about sword too. play. We're right. probably in a, in a time of peace. Hanging the family shell on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. That's, that's a Helian shield. Why, why is the Helian shield? Does all this make sense to you? Isn't that nice, Atlas? They suit that, you perfectly. They, a perfect fit. But they're not in high rule. Why do they have a Helian shield? No whole town doesn't feel birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? You will find out. Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for I'll you tonight. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go get your sister Ariel. I don't want to get my sister Ariel. I want to <laughs> bust her shut up. <laughs> Bop. No, you.
Okay, here we go. I'm looking at the red post box. Nobby's telling me how to do the game. The postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Look up in the sky. This fucking bird. Big ass fucking bird. Alright, Claudia, are you ready? I'm going to jump off the fucking thing. I'll be back later. Bye, guys. Bye. God, I don't know what button R is. Hit that motherfucker with a fucking block. Block a block. Hit that bitch with a cannonball. I know what I'm supposed to, but I don't know how to do it. I don't know the controls. Poof. Clocked that motherfucker across the jaw. And I'm surprised she stays alive. So, Atlas, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. We're gonna go learn how to sword. Or online? Nope. You don't want online art? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Atlas? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of this sword? Yes, sir. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me at press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Very good. Next, hit the thrust. Target with ZL and then tilt towards me and press B. Come at me. Thrust with your sword. Very good. Keep thrusting. Spin attack hole or. There we go. Ah, he beats the shit out of me. I'm trying. Keep thrusting. Oh, I gotta hit A. Why do I have to hit A? We're good. Jump attack. display take that blade with you ba, 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 ba. got the hero's sword strong at this why are you so loud me yeah I don't know Let's go beat the fuck out of some uh, stupid creatures that don't know how to speak English. Oh wait, no, 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 I forget, the, one of them does. Cobblins. Money? You have money for me? No, you don't have money for me. Money. No, let me get my money. 
that one in my money. Mon money! <laughs> you can see the money in the cutscene. Oh, my money. <laughs> uh, wow, what's with that get up? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came in. Uh, miss, Miss Tetra. Oh, oh, thank, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on this summit, I thought for sure you'd. Oh, summit? So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain? Well, that wasn't nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our bet to that debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him, come on! Oh my god, it's so hard to find good help nowadays. Hey! Hi, big brother! I'm gonna stop doing voices because this is making my throat hurt. Dash off all I have been in this place before. <laughs> Stupid kid, get a hold of yourself, she's gone. There's nothing you can do. with us on our ship? Mm-hmm. You understand what you're asking? We're pirates. You know, pirates. The terror of the seas. What did we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't you, any of you heard of that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately across regions of the Great Sea? No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears, like yours, have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes just found me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. Hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Atlas here who saved you from the monsters in the forest. Wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Atlas' sister has made its foul nest to the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Atlas a little help now, would it? Hmph. <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, that's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? Tell you what, if you can come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you'd better go say goodbye to your family while you have the chance. <laughs>